to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, whether you believe it or not, listen, I'm telling you, when God reveals this, many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life. Wicked demonic patterns. No. Hear me. Look up. Let me teach you something. The Bible says in Revelations, when you read 18, 19, 20, it says in the judgment, hell gave up the dead. Then the Bible said the sea gave up the dead. The sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies. Tied down by activities of witchcraft. When you read your Bible, it says, all of the abundance came forth out of the waters. And the devil has manipulated it to destroy people. I am still praying again. Anyone's destiny here. Your destiny means where God has preordained for you. That has been tied, trapped down. Maritally, financially, in terms of fruitfulness, I decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now. 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 Hallelujah. Please look at me. I want to ask you a question. When Naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free, look up. Where did the leprosy go to? Where did the dead skin go to? The spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around. The man who Jesus told him to wash at Siloam, when he washed and he saw, where did the blindness go to? Now listen, just because people have abused all of these things through unfortunately extra biblical practices, you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer. Are we together now? The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the Trinity too as ice as liquid and as gas water is not limited by anything does not fear anything does not run away from anything very mysterious Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years, and yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now, anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names, my God, I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, 
you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation. There's someone here You've been having, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. You've been having severe headache. When it comes upon you, it almost acts as if you are losing your mind. This is a very demonic thing. This is not just a headache as a result of fatigue. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Right now. Two of you are not in this auditorium. But the power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who have come out here, you did not just come out to waste your time. I decree and declare. The same way these spirits have left you, they go for good. And for some of you, even before this service is over, your testimony begins. Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit laughter laughter step into your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray for a family oh dear you are from Gombe State Gombe State where is the family Gombe State Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out to oh, if we have that there is I, I'm seeing a family uh, mother and not our people are already out now what do we do mama you are welcome we'll pray. of course everybody wants to go forward so once you hear a word I will pray for you. That's no, no, no. You don't have to come. Ah, Deborah. Deborah. I already prayed for Deborah. You received by faith. Eh? We're talking of um, Gombe State. The Lord is speaking to me. Ah. I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. Gombe is a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family.
Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Ah. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. Altars are breaking. Oh. Father, you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State. I'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact. Listen, the power of God is going to come upon you and everything that represents shame and reproach for that family, whether you are here represented or prophetically following online. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now. Every activity of witchcraft now be broken, be broken. Help mama, please. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken now. The Lord is showing. I'm going to pray for you. Listen. In the name of Jesus, um, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth. This is what I'm seeing. No, not necessarily in Gombe State. This is another case God is showing me. Ladies, whether they get married, they are not able to have children. And this is like a pattern. It's happened to a number of the ladies. You don't have to come out. Whether you are online or you are in here, please, I want you to believe. God is visiting people's situations. In the name of Jesus, before I finish with you, my Gombe people, any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command those altars broken now. We command those altars broken now. Now, for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings, wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. I'm going to pray for the sick. How many of you believe in prosperity? Financial prosperity. I know there are five levels. I'm talking about financial prosperity. I believe in it. Oh. If you don't believe, you can, you can. It is a very bad thing to be poor. Let me just tell you straight to the point. The reason is, and remember you have been taught here. When we teach this, we are not teaching from a, an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things. But let me assure you by the Spirit of God, you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself. Poverty takes away dignity from the life of people. Hallelujah. There is the wisdom that brings prosperity. First as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide. There is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity. But there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey. Get this equation now. Wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide. That is the department of wisdom. There is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you. Then there is the prophetic dimension. Are we together? If you lack any one of these three, you will be poor. If you have a superior belief system, 
you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men and if those men don't like you and don't believe you you can be valuable and you will still remain there are we together if you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom you will only have circumstantial wealth as important as it is because men will come but wisdom your your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand but if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is and you do not have the prophetic you will keep building and crashing because one activity of demon spirits one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely You can impart the spirit of wisdom but it takes time to build belief systems and that's what we do every week as for favor there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor but this prophetic dimension is my assignment I'm going to pray for the sick but I want to speak it listen by the grace of God I vowed before God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life. God is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees. God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life. You are praying for rent. No. God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house. Because the person you are owing has come to knock. And afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again. It is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper. Listen to me. Men can prosper. I know that there are, this ministry has very successful people at different levels. Building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account. Building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in famine you will laugh. This balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking, that's not the kingdom's way. At every level, we can still rise higher. And for some of you who are saying, I am comfortable, your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned. Because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources, you are not prosperous. For as long as your resources ends up with you, your comfort, yes, but your comfort alone, wrong. For the sake of thy prosperity, I desire your house. I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick. Please, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. If you ever believe and respect the prophetic, believe this declaration. Just believe it and insult me that I'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen. But please believe it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cry unto you, you are a covenant-keeping God. I have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence. Lord, there are people here who love you sincerely, but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down. I stand by the prophetic in the name of Jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open I prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the Lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now Businesses, receive that grace now. Families, receive that grace now. Territories, receive that grace now. Anyone who is in any financial situation, you are owing, you lost money, you are in business, there's some kind of financial trouble in the name of Jesus, like Elijah prophesied over the, the, the woman in Zarephath. I speak to your life. May God raise men to bring you out of that situation. May God 
raise men to bring you out of that situation. Apostle, what do I do to prosper? May my God show you in a dream. In the name of Jesus, the area connected to your wealth, I ask my God to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you. Can I declare favor over you? If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. Mm -mm. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen. I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud I know what I'm saying forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance I know what it means to walk in the favor of God I'm praying for you such as I have in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the one who favors men I'm praying for you let this mantle rest upon your head May this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. Sincerely believers hear me, let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are written in your prayer request are within the department of favor to give you that testimony, if you will be honest. We are going to pray for the sick shortly, but most people, there are those who are not sick in body except they are standing for others. But there is a disease of the absence of favor. You can know that a man's life is not favored, even if you are making money. You should know by now that favor is far more than money. You can have financial resources and not be favored. The difference will be clear. The proof of favor is more than money. Access to the heart of men. That's the proof of favor. You can have money and everybody hates you. There are many things money cannot do. I've always prayed for people and you've heard me say it. That may you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money. Hmm. Money can fail. It's a piece of paper. Real wealth is men. Not things. Men. The only reason why things have value is because of men who value them. Please learn this. High level spiritual intelligence, real wealth is men. When God connects your heart to men, he has connected your heart to things and he has connected your heart to money. But you can be connected to money, connected to things, it will kill you, destroy you. Who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. I repeat, real wealth is men. In the multitude of men, not things, is a king's honor. Somebody who can remember you and stand for you and see to it that under their watch you actualize destiny, unhindered by any kind of thing, whether financial or systemic limitations. Now that is wealth. Don't get into that illusion that money does anything. No. People misunderstand the scripture that says money answered all things. What does the Bible mean by money? Because at those times, it was not your idea of money that they had. Real wealth is men. That's why Jesus did not come to die for things. Creation was part of the beneficiaries of salvation, but principally, it was for men. If you have money, use the money to build relationships if you have money and the only thing you have is a house and you say I have an estate you will be surprised estates don't visit you when you are in the sick bed 
Estates don't say I love you. Estates don't say I'm praying for you. The fruit in your shop will not look at you and say good morning sir. Don't be carried away by mundane things and ignore men. Real wealth is men. Let's pray for healing. Please lay your hands. You're trusting God for a miracle. And while I'm praying for the sick, please begin to submit your request. Let me give you one or two minutes. If you have not written your prayer request, please write it very quickly. And then we're going to pray for the sick. Let's do it very quickly. Ushers, while we're praying, if you've written your prayer request, pass it to your left or right for sake of time. And there'll be an official picking it. Let me give you one minute to quickly write and then we'll stand up to pray for the sick. Most times our time is so limited before we do anything, it's already gone. And um, so very quickly. One minute, write your request in case your faith was not enlarged enough to write certain things. Now you've been convicted, write them, write them again. And I will not be silent. I will always worship. Write them with joy in your heart, knowing that there is a God that answers prayers. time and I As you drop your prayer request I want you to believe by faith that what you are dropping in the name of Jesus the only other thing you will pick are your testimonies if you're done please stand I want to pray for the sick now till Jesus comes I believe in healing miracles I believe in the power of God why should you die before your time when What's that song? There is a fountain filled with blood that flowing no else and seen us blind lay your hands now believing anywhere you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones I'm seeing others connecting by faith there are people following from hospitals having death sentences it is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles I believe in miracles I really do now here's what will happen I'm going to pray for the sick now and expect the power of God like I taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of God has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them. 
will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what God is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please ushers protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor Jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and I'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray hallelujah and I want you to agree as I pray for those who are following from hospitals other people carrying their medical reports there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick, I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now depart right now depart right now now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is i stretch my hands prophetically and i declare be healed now let the life of god surge into your body now in the name of jesus christ bone conditions anyone having a bone condition I declare be healed now anyone lying down on the sick bed I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now cancer be healed now tumors and growths be healed now partial or complete blindness eyes be open now ears be unstopped now you heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb in the name of Jesus, any organ that is failed or failing, we command a brand new organ now. Peptic ulcer be healed. Recurrent migraines be healed. Blood conditions be healed. There's someone you have a serious problem smelling it's just you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink that's literally how it is for you God is showing me in the name of Jesus you are healed right now the Lord is showing me someone you usually are a straight person you stand very straight but something began to happen to you and you are bending over it's like something is bending you over in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are straightened now someone's kneecap you've had severe pain around your kneecap 
in Jesus name may the power of God touch you There's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery I'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks I don't know what the condition is but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus may the power of God touch you right now yeah. there's someone you have severe breathing problems um, you've not gone to the hospital for any check but you've had severe sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you in the name of Jesus Christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of God you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the Lord is touching you right now now whether I mention your case or not I want you to believe right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman you are not here in Nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what I'm seeing the power of God is touching that little girl right now. I'm hearing the name bronchitis, bronchitis. In the name of Jesus, whether here or anywhere following across the globe, I declare be healed now. I'm seeing a woman, in fact, I'm seeing in my vision, a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of God, that woman is healed now. If there's anybody here who came with a mad person, maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder, any kind of, you know, issue that has to do with madness, in Jesus' name we declare they are restored now. They are restored now. Amen. Repeated malaria, month after month. You treat it, it returns. You treat it, it returns. In Jesus' name, be healed now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And then the Lord is showing me someone, um, not to be embarrassed, but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute i don't know if you've gone to the hospital but you have an an embarrassingly painful expression of pile this is 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 this thing with what i'm seeing is not even just like pile it's like a swelling even though i'm praying for you but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what you know what i'm seeing is not very good is is wise and I've taught you here, we believe in the healing power of God, but we are responsible people. You have a situation that calls for concern. There are many, many doctors that are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. They can be able to examine you. Even if it needs a miracle, they'll be honest enough to tell you. It is wiser to at least get that perspective than to, you know, irresponsibly shrug it away. And yet you are not releasing your faith. For that person, I'm praying right now, this night, this moment. May the power of God touch you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone's left ear. Left ear. You hear a very, you know, very irritating sound. And then that's it. I'm praying for you. Be healed now. And pains around the body, any part of the body whatsoever. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I speak healing for you now. 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 This life that I am is a life of God in me. 
this life that I am is a lie. This life that I am is a life of God. This life that I am. So away, so away, so away. under the anointing now in Jesus name I declare be healed Amen. here's what I want you to do for me we have just about five minutes for you I want you to check yourself whether you are outside any of the overflow our global family and those within here the moment you find out that there is a miracle for you check yourself do what you couldn't do before and we're going to take a few people you find out that the power of God has touched you you need to see the doctors the medical people you can go out to our medical stand very quickly and have yourself checked and I want you to return very quickly now please the moment you find out that a miracle has happened I don't want you to sit back it is important that we seal your miracle I want you to check yourself and make your way right to the front even though I know that our time is gone but it's good we take even if it's just one or two testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they check themselves there's a miracle that is happening God is healing people make your way to the front koinonia is this the best that you can do don't get too used to miracles those who are coming from outside please let them come very quickly let's have a few miracles your name and then we'll seal that miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus, for a man of God who came here, make sure that you receive the final impartation because this is what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. We'll take a few. Um, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, wave it so that someone will see it. Just wave it very high above your head and someone will pick it up and bring it right here and then we'll pray. The moment the power of God has touched you, you've confirmed that you have a miracle, we'll have a few testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready, sir? Okay, once we get a confirmation. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Ori. I came with a toothache. It's been on and off for a couple of months. You came with a toothache? Yes. Uh huh. And even when I inhale air, sometimes the tooth will start to ache. Yes. But now if I inhale, I don't feel the pain. Completely. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate your miracle and we declare that it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, I have an interesting one here. Wow. Go ahead. I've been, since morning I came here, I couldn't stand up from the chair myself. And I've been managing rheumatoid arthritis for over almost two years now. But just now I could stand up. You could stand now. Look at this. Koinonia, you are so used to miracles. Watch this. Look at how, for how many years? For two years. Over now. two years. She could not stand on her own. My God, can you walk? Yes. Go ahead, walk. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection. I cause rheumatoid arthritis. You go back to hell where you came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Can we have one or two there very quickly? Yeah, Apostle, our brother came in from the UK. You mentioned the case of people with evil smell. He has had this since 2015. When people come what, what happened to him? Have... Give him the mic. Quickly, no, don't hold it, just speak. So actually, I came down yes uh, from the UK uh, three days ago to come and see the man of God. And yes. You mentioned my case that uh, there are somebody that they invoke uh, evil smell or strange smell upon. Yes. And that's what exactly they've been doing to me about 15, uh, 15 since 2015. Um, even this morning when I came, so it's like I, I've been mocked with it. When I'm, a, when I'm here, you see. 
Everybody was smelling. What happened to you now? It's like I am. I, I do not You're completely free from it. In the name of Jesus, that demonic smell leaves you never, never to return. Isaac blessed his son and said, The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Yes, please. Open up her left ear since when she was small. She can hear with the hair now. Can you imagine? Yes, Which of them? My left ear. Come on now. Come it on, on very hot. <laughs> You're together. Oh, husband, tell us about it. She went from, she, from when she was small, she had an accident and they had to do an operation on that ear. You married her like that? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. What I meant was when you married her, that condition was there. Yes, yes. My God. Look at this. Close the one, close the one that, that is working. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on now. Look at this. She's even excited. Do you know what it means? Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what it means to leave home and say, I'm going to church? And then one year, you're already used to it. How long has this been? I was 13. You were 13? No, I, I think I was 16. Then I had a, a laboratory accident when I was working at the lab in the university. Something entered my ears, um, pseudomonia, and grew in my ears. Since then, I had operation, but still I can't hear very well on the left side. When you were praying, my ear got very hot, and then I felt something crawling out of my ear. I kept on checking, and there's nothing. In the name of Jesus. You are healed and perfected forever. Congratulations to you and your husband. Let's celebrate them as they go. Yes, please. Another case of the opening of left ear to uh, mommy. Opening of left ear. Mommy, what happened? Uh, for about two months now, my left ear yes. has been noise. Noise? Noise. Uh -huh. it's, it's causing something like vertigo. I, can't, I couldn't walk even here. Well, since I came here, I've not been able to walk on my own. Some people can testify to that. They saw me that. They were holding me. But they were holding you? They were holding me to come to walk. I and right walk. now, walk. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light. It's for love. Sing it a song now. Turn back and tell God's people Jesus healed you. God bless you. Show with kneecap and kneecap is also healed too since 2013. Your kneecap? Yes. What kind of a demonic? Since 2013. And now is you're healed in the name totally. of Jesus Christ. Totally. totally. Completely healed. You go and tell them Jesus healed you. In Jesus' name I pray. Apostle, it, another opening of ear since when he was small. Opening of his left ear. Your left ear? Yes, sir. Like, then took something in my, in my ear. If, you want, if someone wants to talk to me. What happened to you? Then took something in my ear. If someone wants to talk to me, I have to turn my right ear. Oh, my God. Close that one. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. How long has this been? 23, sir. Huh? 23, sir. 23 years? Yes, sir. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this demonic thing will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, you see, some of these miracles look very common, but you may never understand the discomfort that the people healed go through. Hallelujah. I promise that we'll have a few. Let's see. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Okay. Uh, 
it actually happened on Wednesday. Straight to the point, yes. yes what uh, happened? I was, I, I went to to use myself in the night. So uh, I, feel, I felt as if something entered me. Since then, I had this pains around my abdomen and my private part. So I just kept it to myself. I rebook it immediately, but it persists when I was driving that day. So as I came here, it was disturbing me. I was going out to ease myself. Go. So before the ministration of the uh, prayer for healing, so I said that was the last time I was going out. And if I go out to pee, it would be like yellow and it would be smelly. But after the prayer, I went out to ease myself. And it was completely and, like nothing again. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's celebrate Jesus. So, so we have an interesting one here. So it's not for the mother, but for the baby. My baby has been having noisy breath since a week after I gave birth. Noisy baby. breath? Yes. How old is the baby? He's one year, few weeks. Okay. And during the last miracle service, I was believing God for it, but the devil was testing my faith. The noisy breath continued a little. Mm. Even now, he was sleeping and I was feeling the vibration, but immediately he prayed you prayed about the respiratory issue it stopped completely yes. i cannot feel the vibration on his back again and he's sleeping for over a year i, I don't sleep at night struggling to what's your baby's him. name caris caris look at what one prayer of faith one prayer of faith only god knows what this child will grow up to become you can know how many fruits come out of a tree. There are many, but they are countable. But you can never tell how many trees can come out from a fruit or a seed. Father, we pray for baby Caris. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. And the mother, may God bless you for standing in faith for our baby. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. I had a pain on this right leg, so I saw an orthopedic for it. So once this leg started getting better, this leg started having issues. Mm. So for more than a month now, like I cannot, you, I could, when I'm walking, you can visibly see me limping. So, okay. but when the word came that some God is healing someone with a kneecap issue, the, the pain just left. Completely like walk. <laughs> Look at this. What you've waited for has, has come, come to pass. pass. See what the Lord has. Look at this. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also, several testimony here were just lumping them. Severe headache, difficulty in bending. For the past three weeks, he could bend. Very well. Now Abdominal you're bending. Pain. Congratulations. God bless you. Abdominal pain for the past one month now. The pain is Abdominal gone Abdominal pain. That devil leaves you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. She had an accident some years ago and then she couldn't. So when you gave the word of people with lumbar challenge. How long? Just, just put the mic on her. Help her. The power of God is still on her. How long, my dear? Huh? Since October 2020. That was when... A 350 Lexus hit me from behind. A Lexus hit you? Yeah. And what happened to you after then? Mm. She couldn't bend. I couldn't bend. I, if I want to bend, I'm having pain. Bend now. Any pain? I command that devil to leave you it will never 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 return to you again you are protected on the road you will not be a victim of any accident difficulty in, in breathing in breathing for the past two months you mentioned the case he thought he was because he was at yes the in the name of jesus i decree and declare healing for you right now healing by the power of the holy spirit yes please also and chest pain also and chest pain you are healed by the power of the holy spirit yes so, Apostle, we had a case of um, fracture on the leg. Fracture? How long? Last year, December. 11th December, last year. What happened? I, was, I went to market on our way back. I was hit by a car on the express. Let me prophesy over your life. 
in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare you are protected from accidents you will not die from anybody's mistake your children are protected and covered in the name of Jesus please be seated yes my dear so what happened to you so my leg got broken into two it was completely like this not like this again your leg yes sir this leg you how did you went to the hospital yes sir. I even did um, x-ray on the leg and then what happened so they treated the leg but it wasn't okay I couldn't run completely I don't run before I come here I don't, I can't squat. If I squat, the leg is pinning me. And when I'm walking, I can't walk fast. I have to walk slow. I'm limping very badly. And the leg, I feel pain from here and here. What's your name? Kizaya. There are people who know about this? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, oh, there are so many people. You know about her situation. Run. But this God is mighty. Oh. Look at this. Look at she's squatting. In the name of Jesus Christ, this remains perfected in your life forever. Amen. amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more. My sincere apologies. You know, I keep looking at the time. Apostle, yes. you gave a very prophetic word of knowledge regarding someone with a mental case, with a migraine that causes. Like yes. That makes me feel as if I was wrong or I should take off my clothes. What's your name? Venashus. Okay, what happened to you? So I came in with the headache. It's as if something moves on my head. And makes you want to run? Yes, want to move or want to lose my mind. So immediately you prophesy that whoever has a headache, immediately you make the prophecy. I, I don't feel it anymore. I feel normal. I don't, I don't feel in the name of Jesus Christ. You are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sincere, okay, let's take that last one. My apologies. Please allow me to pray for the remaining. Um, the, the meetings are always available for you to testify. We have to work with time. My sincere apologies. Miracle services usually would require an extended time to celebrate what Jesus is doing. Yes. My is waist pain. Like, a, yes, they hit me something on my waist. Like, how long has this been? Six months. And right now, like I'm feeling serious pain. So when don't go, praying, just stand. Let me pray first. Yes. As you were praying, I went outside. I slept on the ground so that my waist here we touched the floor, the coldness of the floor. I felt it. So when I checked, I felt that the pain, everything is gone. So I'm gone praying. completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, because of our time, my sincere apologies we may not be able to take the testimonies one by one but we glorify jesus listen every testimony is proof that god is alive i have taught you it is proof that god loves and as simple as this is because of the kind of grace that god has given us we do not take it for granted it is the workings of god no man is able to do this except god be with him and so father we rejoice over these testimonies we thank you for confirming your word with signs following we know that there are several others who have been healed touched blessed and for all of them i decree and declare that you will return with your testimonies in jesus name i pray god bless you please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands towards me everyone please stand rise up on your feet stretch your hands towards me if we still have other requests please let's have it very quickly so that we'll pray begin to speak over your prayer request father this is a representation of my faith the bible mandates that we present our request and i decree and declare in the name of jesus that this is a supernatural miracle for me go ahead this is the ninth month it's your time to deliver Is someone praying in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God? Shapranda kaskote preti ke pala hasit ya prashati ka pala kuziyatapa. Embra katus ko zebra katus ya kete place. Father, turn situations around. Visit families. Visit businesses, 
visit ministries let your people experience the touch of God I'm laying my hands and releasing the anointing upon this request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone praying Shaka prakatos as he gave a lekatos, Embrantas Kalika Brahas Kadava Jagade Beleketos, Maka Pragada Katabaranda Zagadeva Lasso Sepregate Beleketos Yata. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, your people are walking in their testimonies, they are walking in the manifestation of the word. Never again, O God, answer your people. Turn our mornings into dancing. Take away the garment of shame and reproach. So that our glory will praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you because the Bible says to be anxious for nothing. But it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says to make your request known unto God. We have brought this as a representation of our faith. Believing that you are able. Father, I bow my knees upon this request as your servant. And I pray that from the abundance of your mercy and power grant answers to this request in the name of jesus christ let your crying come to an end let shame come to an end let reproach come to an end let it be a season of joy and laughter a season of lifting and restoration in the name of jesus christ I was in House on the Rock last week and um, I taught on the teaching helped by God is on our, our YouTube page you can listen to it and in that teaching I taught that there are three ways that God extends his help to man number one is by granting men access to his mercy number two through the ministry of men and then number three through the ministry of the helper, the paraclete that we call the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So God is able to show men help by granting them mercy. Number two, God is able to use men. The man at the pool of Bethesda, when Jesus said, what do I do? His prayer was, I have no man. That was his prayer. I do not have any man who will come and stand to advocate and help me. Most of these requests here you see are men dependent. It will take the, the, the synergy between the power of God and the ministry of men for this to happen. I said all that because I want to call forth prophetically the men that God will use to provide speedy answers. I decree and declare everyone mandated by God to respond to any or all your prayer requests. I declare from this night, may their ministry in your life be activated. If it is a job, the person who should talk to the person, who should talk to the person who will grant you the job, we activate their ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who has been ordained of God to bring you intervention and to send you help, we activate their ministry speedily. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of priesthood and the prophetic, I prophesy that every request here written is hereby turned into a harvest of testimonies. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let me speak over your life finally. Come to Jesus if you are not born again. I'm about to make an altar call um, and then I speak. I think I should just make the altar call before I speak. Keep standing. Please don't sit. Keep standing. We're almost done. No, please, let's not move around. You need Jesus Christ, Apostle, 
I'm coming here for the first time and I confess that I need Jesus or I need a restoration of my spiritual life, please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only begotten son. Don't let anybody laugh at you. Make your way to the front. Whosoever believes in him, carry your bags, carry your Bibles, everything you came to church with. Please, come out and make Jesus Lord of your life. Carry your bags if you can, carry your Bibles and everything you came to church with. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? Come and stand before Jesus. He is able to give you a new beginning. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm shy. We're encouraging you. Come, make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Mean it with Jesus. The Holy Spirit is convicting you. He's telling you, you need to make it right. All the overflows, all those who are viewing, watching from across the globe, it is never too late to make it right with Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making this noble decision. This is one of the reasons why God, the reasons why God anointed us to be able to help people experience Jesus. We are very passionate about people's encounter with Jesus because no matter what else you receive, without Jesus, you only received something very, very temporary. Hallelujah. The greatest gift God gave man is not breakthrough, it's not favor, it's not lifting, it's not healing. He gave us Jesus. Hallelujah. And so if you receive every other thing and reject Jesus, you did not really receive God's gift. I salute you for making this noble decision. Some of you for the first time, some of you are rededicating your lives. I just request that you mean it from the depth of your heart. If you are joining them, please run. I'm about to lead them to pray. And those who are following online, please join us as we pray. All of the overflows, do same. Don't stand in front and just murmur and don't mean what you are saying. No, standing is not what makes you saved. We only call you so that you can be separated, mean business with Jesus, and then to be led for follow-up. So please do make sure that you mean it with Jesus Christ. This is the house of God. Thank you very much. Lift your right hand, please, high above your head. And I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I confess that you are my savior, you are my Lord, and you are my king. I declare that the power of sin, right, um, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I begin a journey with God. Amen. Father, thank you for these ones who have come, presenting themselves before you. The Bible declares that as many who will come, you will in no wise cast away. I, I receive them by faith on behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, and I declare that your sins are forgiven. Let tonight begin a new um, journey in your Christian experience in the name of Jesus. Like you have confessed, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you very much for your courage. God bless you. May I please request that you follow the counselors to my right, which is your left. There are a few people who would just have a word with you very briefly, and then they would speak over your life and you'll be done. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, um, we're starting a very... Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us.
and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching